What's going on boys and ghouls? I'm Chainsmoking Mike with another energy drink review. This particular energy drink has a special place in my heart. In the past, I used to drink this energy drink every now and then in my teenage years. But as of recently, this particular flavor is really hard to find. And no, before you guys assume it's not the classic red and black monster salt. I wish I could find it, but that particular flavor is dead and gone, unfortunately. However, this particular flavor is similar to that. And what better day to drink this energy drink than on Cinco de Mayo, given its provenance. Monster Ultra Black. If you guys remember this energy drink, I appreciate you guys because this energy drink was, and it was a good flavor. I remember it very distinctly uh, being like a cherry flavored. It's a, going to be a cherry flavored energy drink. So here's the front, the back, uh, the label. And the label says, just about 300 miles north of Chicago, nestled on the eastern shore of Lake Michigan, is the cherry capital of the world, Traverse City, Michigan. Long warm summer days and cool nights cause the cherries to ripen right around the 4th of July. But you gotta get them while, while you can because all too soon they're gone. Luckily, we found a way to capture that perfectly ripe flavor and bring it to you all year long. Monster Energy Ultra Black. Refreshingly light with zero calories. No sugar and packed with our Monster Energy Blend. And this particular flavor is at 137 milligrams of caffeine. It's a little lower than the traditional classic monster. And it comes with a red monster tab. And I could only find one of these at a convenience store in St. Anne, Missouri. So if you can find it in the United States, get them while you can. Even though they may be a couple years old, they're still drinkable. Trust me. Anyway, I'm going to open this sucker and we're going to savor this for Cinco de Mayo. Has a nice pinkish red uh, hue. Mmm. It's very smooth overall. And you taste a nice cherry punch flavor. It's like a, like a nicely carbonated Hawaiian punch. Kind of reminds me of that a little bit. But it's a little more sharper than the Hawaiian punch that I've drunk in the past. But it's very similar to that. And you definitely taste a very distinct cherry flavor. That's like the main flavor profile ingredient of this particular energy drink that I'm drinking right now. My fondest memory of this uh, flavor energy drink was I was in Nashville, Tennessee, I believe in 2016 at the Warp Tour back then. And... I went to go and see Motionless and White at the time live. And I was and it was on my birthday on the 29th of June. So it was special because I was able to uh go to a like a meet and greet with the front man of the band, Chris uh Cerulli Motionless. And that was an interesting time. And um <clears throat> and during the concert event that was outside it was in the summer so it was like hot as fuck um there was this tr monster truck like a like legit truck where like um that had like a seating area that people could like walk up to and stuff and they gave out free monsters right i wanted my baby my monster assault they didn't have that they said the closest flavor we got to monster assault was this one. I said, give me one of those. And I drank this while I was uh, watching Chris Motionless perform at that time. So, 
there you go. So this particular flavor has a special place in my heart. And um, you definitely don't taste any sugar. It's, it's uh, artificial sugar. But despite that, the flavor profile of this uh, Ultra Black Monster is rather pleasant. It's not a, a aftertaste that lingers. The water in, um, that's used in here, it washes it down. I mean, sure, you kind of get like a slight aftertaste on the palate, but it's not unpleasant. It's, it's a livable aftertaste which I really like about this particular energy drink. Ugh. Yep, precisely. That is precisely the main ingredient, black cherries. That's like the main ingredient. Like if you know what a black cherry tastes like, this energy drink is for you. And if you like the, that kind of um, fruit, highly recommend the Ultra Black Monster. Once I finish this uh, particular can, I'm going to try to save this particular can as a memento of good times. Because I'm um, like Monster Assault. If I couldn't find that, this was my second go-to back in the day. And I remember... There was this one skinny can. It was, I think, like a 12-ounce can that Monster used to make. I think it was called Ultra Max. There was a purple can. Um, if you know that particular flavor, put it, post it down in the comments section. Because that particular flavor, I remember it distinctly being in a very sharp-flavored grape. It was in a purple, black and purple can. It was about yay high. I'd, th I'd say, compared to the normal monsters. They don't make that particular style anymore, as far as I know. But back in the 2010s, they used to make the Ultra Max monsters. They were about yay high. And fuck, if you could drink one of those, man, you're going to be fucking hyped the whole day. They were strong as fuck in caffeine content. Mmm, good, good flavor. Highly recommend it if you can find it. So much uh, better tasting than the normal monster. The normal monster, two, two ways, two things that make up its flavor. Imagine drinking a um, carbonated ca and caffeinated green apple and kiwi energy drink. Like imagine if those two flavors welded together, right? And and made a baby with carbonated water and caffeine. That is my way best to describe the classic monster. And don't get me wrong, it's a, it's a decent drink here and there, but if I could find a, a like a case of these, I'm buying this any day over the uh, normal monster. I love the Ultra Black. That is like my favorite out of the Ultra um line of monsters this particular one is my baby like i just love its flavor it gives it gives me memories of a time that's pretty much long and forgotten and it just resonates with me i just love its aesthetic and design it just has that very aggressive gothic design that i re reminisce and remember so fondly in my teenage years All right, if I was to rate this energy drink out of five stars, you already probably know where I'm going with this. I would give it a seven, out, six out of five. It's just phenomenal. I love its flavor profile. Despite the fact that it's zero sugar, the aftertaste is bearable. It's not an overwhelming aftertaste compared to like um like a bang energy drink i fucking hate bangs i don't know how people can drink it but those things taste disgusting fuck bang um 
but with this particular zero sugar energy drink, it's actually really pleasant. It's not overwhelming. You get a nice sharp black cherry flavor and you get a good amount of carbonation, which I love. I don't know what it, what it is about a carbonated drink, but I love it. It it gives it a bit of depth. Mm. Fucking bomb. This thing is so good. And what better day to uh, drink this energy drink than on Cinco de Mayo, which has a bit of a of a emphasis on death in in a sense or maybe i'm getting it mixed up um if you are an expert on that holiday uh clarify me in the comments if you can but i'm pretty sure on that day there's like an a um observance of death like a respect towards it not like a like a sacrilege towards it but like an appreciation of it like towards your uh, past ancestors stuff like that like, um, if I'm correct, on, on Cinco de Mayo, they, um, dress in, um, costumes, like, um, death costumes and stuff, like, with skulls and all that. Although, I could be getting it mixed up with a different, um, Hispanic holiday. I, I don't know. I'm not an expert in that. It's, but, if I'm not an expert on that, uh, please correct me in the comments. Anyway, this drink is fucking phenomenal. If you can find it in uh, any store, convenience store, what have you, in the United States, please get it. Savor it. Reminisce on good times. And I'm going to finish this fucking amazing energy drink pretty shortly. You just watch my review on a nostalgic and delicious energy drink. Monster Ultra Black. Um, have a great day. Rock and roll as always, my peoples. And Nasdorovia to life. And Dasvidanya. Or goodbye. Take care. And I'm heading off and doing great things. Take care. Thank you for watching.